Good morning, welcome back to the Breakfast Club Basel, our space, our place in the morning to grow, to thrive, to connect, to share and exchange ideas on how to make it not only through the day, but through the weeks and the months of the lockdown of the quarantine, wherever you are stuck in right now in this weird situation. And then also hopefully gain perspectives on how to <laughs> get over that and then leave and lead the life that you actually want to do, want to want to live. And I am having the series at the moment talking about how to feel more free, even though we are in a lockdown. And I also wanted to talk about financial and economic freedom. And I have to admit that I'm a bit nervous about this session as this is such a, on the one hand, really private and individual subject. On the other hand, of course, it's affecting us all. And right now it's a huge, huge topic on how also, you know, all, all the monetary bounds are inflicted through, through this uh, whole breakdown and lockdown. And yeah, we are all somehow in this together. And I think that's a good opportunity at the same time to talk about it, how we are actually all connected in this also monetarily. And um, first of all, of course, the easy um, solution would be to use the lockdown and to use maybe the more time you have right now and to use the break to sit down and rethink for yourself, for your private situation, how do I actually want to live? What do I need, like monetary wise? What I need, I need to live that life? Do I should work less or should I work more? Should I save more? Should I spend less? What is what kind of money is coming in? What kind of money is flowing out? Does that make sense for me? Or should I make little changes to lead a life more to how I actually want to live? So that's a very private solution. It's the good old thing about uh, writing down in a household book <laughs> what's coming in, what's coming out and doing your math and uh, then having a bigger overview. So there's nothing wrong with that because then I feel always like you are feeling more responsible for your incomes and your outcomes and you feel more uh, yeah, responsible but also more aware of your own financial situation. So that's of course the very basic step. But I think that it shouldn't stop there and because then if you're feeling like okay what is coming in you could also do some research and do some numbers and feel like is this fair what's coming in right there's still we still have a big problem of gender pay gap and of unequal pay system so you should really do your research and negotiate what's fair not just for you personally but maybe for the larger group of people you are representing and think about that too when you're thinking about your own private incomes and outcomes and then the other thing is like i feel we should also look at how we are all intertwined monetarily and see money is a means of exchange and money is a thing we use to connect each other with each other and right now we can feel and we can sense and we can experience that uh, it's not a very just and very fair system. And when we see that all the airlines get a lot of money, but then private purse people, for example, in the US, they get a big fat check that will just help them buy their groceries for a week. That's, I don't know. So I don't want to propose any opinions on you, but I think we could also really use this time to rethink how um, equal or not equal money is um shared throughout the world and how some decisions uh, that are made right now to support the airlines or to support this and to support that but other people have more difficulty so it really depends in which country you are living right now how well off you are here in switzerland just people are working less but they get paid no problem at all da, da, da. and then in a couple of months we'll be totally fine but in other countries i think it's to the contrary that will be um, impacts um, if you lose your job you lose your health insurance and you lose your life quality um, that are way 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 bigger and have uh, impact that will last for decades so do your own you can use that time to do your own little math for your own private household but you can also think about okay what impacts has this whole situation on overall monetary solution, who is winning, who is losing, and what can you do to also imp impact the political systems and 
stand up for things you believe in and um, gain freedom not only for yourself but freedom in a bigger picture okay so these are my little thoughts on freedom and finances in the crisis and have a wonderful weekend see you tomorrow bye bye